yellow. So today I wanted to explain to you guys how I use my prosthetic. This is what they call a bioelectric arm. And what that means is it has the ability to move, to open and close and to hold on to things. This arm is very, very different from the arms that I have worn pretty much my entire life. The arms that I have had, I mean, I remember when I was really small, a little girl, I used to have a harness that would go all the way around my back and underneath my armpit. And the this is the technology, technology that they had back then. But basically I would open and close you know, my shoulders like do this type of motion and it was like a claw. So it would kind of, you know, open and close like that. And what this one does is if there are two sensor pads that are inside of the silicone glove, which I will come up close and show you. And what that does is the sensors touch both sides of my arm and as they touch, I have to use the muscles in my arms to make the movement of opening and closing. And this arm has taken me quite a long time to get used to. I got this particular prosthetic in 2019 and it has taken me probably about a good year and a half to get used to just the weight of this arm. <clears throat> Excuse me, this arm is very heavy and yeah, just a lot heavier from the prosthetics that I have previously worn. And it is because of the technology that is inside of it, you know, that gives me the capability to open and close it. So I'm going to show you guys the sensor pads up close so that you can see what I'm talking about. So as you can see inside, that is what these sensor pads look like. And as I've stated, there's one on each side of the arm. And the actual glove here, this is made of like a silicone material and it is very flexible and breathable and easy to put on. So that's what that looks like. This here, this button here, is the on and off button. So when I have to peel this back, and this glove is extremely hard to maneuver, but what I do is I peel this back, and this is the charging port. I have a charger that I put on here that I charge every night so that I'm able to use it. And this is what it looks like up close. This glove here, as you can see, it gets dirty very easily, stained very easily. This material is nice because, the camera keeps, it's nice because it blends, they have a lot of different colors that, you know, can make, that can blend in with your skin to make it look nice and, you know, they try to match it as best as possible. But that is the one huge downfall about it is that it does stain very easily and it does come with the cleaner, but unfortunately the cleaner does not remove those types of stains. So yeah, that is it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I put it on. And usually what this comes with show you here I have it it the um, orthopedic I don't know what the orthopedic person certified uh, certified I don't know I don't know what to call them <laughs> they will they gave me this and I've used quite a bit and this was easy when I first got the prosthetic it was pretty snug and so I had to use this to get it on and this stuff is it's pretty good, but I will say that I stopped using it because it was giving me a rash on my arm and it also was giving me like a lot of burning sensations. So now when I put my prosthetic on, I really just slip it on. And I'm gonna show you guys that in this next clip. Okay, so all I do is I just take my arm and really I just shove the thing on. So I'll show you that here. And now it's on, it's pretty secure. Like if you were to try to pull it off, it's not gonna come off. 
I will say one of the things that I have been doing pretty frequently to get used to the weight is running. And I run with my prosthetic and my arm does get very weak, but it has been building the muscle in, in this upper arm so that it's a lot easier for me to do movements and really get used to the weight. So this button here, like I showed you in the beginning, is the on and off button. And then I have a switch here, which will control the wrist from being stationary or open. So like right now it's open. And if I wanted to keep it open, I just click it into place and it will stay open. So to turn it on, I hold this button down and a little green light will come on and then you'll hear a beep. So see, now it's on. And this part I am still very much working on. It is really difficult to move my hand because someone that has a um, congenital abnormality like I do, which means that I was born without my limb, it is a lot harder for me to control that movement because I like for me to go for us to go like this you don't even think about it you know it's it's just something that's in, ingrained in our brains but in order for me to do that on this side I really have to think about the control the movement the muscles that I have to move in order to open and close it so you see that's open That's closed. Open. And this really, this motion will really come with time. It's something that I, like I said, I'm currently working on. And I actually saw the prosthetic my orthopedic person today and he the gains these little holes here is where the gains are controlled so it will the lighter the gain is the easier the motion will be to open and close it so like I said it's something that I'm definitely working on and it really like I really have to concentrate like okay move this to open it move this to close it but it'll come with time Good open and close. Ah. And if I'm being honest, I really haven't. Okay. I really haven't gotten them down too, like I said, too well, but all right. That's going to be it for now. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing too. Turn this off. It is like the muscles in my arm get so fatigued so fast doing you wouldn't think doing that little bit of movement will really make you tired it really does like as you can see you can just see the difference in my arms this arm is extremely weak so that's why i've been doing trying to do a lot of things to um to get me used to the weight like i said i run with the arm on and i get you know my arm gets very fatigued very fast but i try to push through and I've been doing that several days a week. I do want to start getting into lifting some muscles with some, lifting some muscles, lifting some weights with some like tension rods to really start building the muscle up in here. So yeah, that is my arm and that is how I use it. If you have any additional questions, definitely let me know, but I appreciate you guys for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Toodles.